At the 2019 NHL Draft, Thomas Harley of the Mississauga Steelheads was the first OHL player selected. He went 18th overall to the Dallas Stars. In 2020, the OHL will not have to wait nearly that long to see its first player go off the board. It's expected that five OHL players will be selected in the first 10 picks. Comes out for Jack Quinn, and Quinn carries the puck, kills off some seconds. Jack Quinn inside the zone, splits the defense, he scores! Jack Quinn! What a beauty! Short hand! Quinn, backhand, he oh. scores. Jack Quinn, an A-list prospect in the upcoming NHL draft with his 50th goal of the season. Jack Quinn of the Ottawa 67s is a right wing sniper. You go back to his 16-year-old year and head coach Andre Tourney really helped him with the details of the game. Play away from the puck, getting a good defensive foundation to help him get the puck back. Well, this season, he took that and added the layer of offense to it. And did he ever do that, putting up 52 goals? He started to bring the puck towards the middle of the ice, started to shoot the puck more. And the end result is likely a player who's had the biggest rise from the start of the season to the end of the season. What's more impressive about this player is that there is a school of thought out there that says he might be able to play center ice at the next level. If that's the case, the value of this player increases dramatically but anyway, you look at it, Jack Quinn should be a top 10 pick. Now Perfetti's back in on goal. Scores! Cole Perfetti! And the Spirit gets a lead with 142 to go. Across the ice to Perfetti on the right wing. Holt fires, scores! What a shot by Cole Perfetti! Cole Perfetti of the Saginaw Spirit has been an offensive dynamo since his days playing minor midget for the Vaughn Kings. In his rookie year in the Ontario Hockey League, he put up 37 goals and did the same thing this past season. The biggest part of the season for Perfetti was being cut for Canada's World Junior Team. When that happened, he came back to Saginaw and he looked like an entirely different player. A player who wanted to prove that he should have been picked. When it comes to Perfetti, there might be no player in this draft who has the brain to think creatively in the offensive zone with the puck on his stick like Cole. The one thing I really like is the fact that for the start of the year, he had trouble scoring goals, hitting a lot of posts, and then all of a sudden it came to him. The goal scoring ability returned, but one thing that never slept was his playmaking ability. And I think after his 16 year old season, many people thought, well, maybe this guy's a one trick pony. I think he proved differently this year with 111 points, second in the OHL scoring race. Again, tries to the left side. Holds, wheels behind the net. Look at this. Gets in front, they score. Oh, what a setup by Jamie Drysdale. Drysdale on a skating display on that shift. Completely fooled the Sarnia Sting on this play. Now back the other way is Brendan Sellen. Shot comes on and score. It's Jamie Drysdale. And you'll just see Drysdale sneak into the play uncovered. And Drysdale, nine times out of ten, he is not going to miss that. A right shot defenseman who skates like the wind. Wouldn't every NHL team want to have one of those players? Well, Jamie Drysdale of the Erie Otters is exactly that. Here's a player who plays with so much poise, so much confidence. His ability to defend really starts in neutral ice where he has that great skating ability to be able to keep gaps tight as well as step up in neutral ice and break up plays. If he is forced to defend in his own zone, he uses great feet to get back there, shoulder checks, and really has a unique ability to assess the play and what's happening. What's my best option? Is it gonna be the one man breakout with a little deke and dive to get out of the zone? Or is it gonna be by making a first pass? D to D, north, south, his ability to process the game is at an elite level. So when it comes to Jamie Drysdale, you're talking about a right shot, defenseman, skates well, defends well. And let's talk about the offensive side a little bit. I think down the road, this is a guy who's gonna be an effective power play player for you. So at the NHL, he has tremendous value in a high end class of defenseman that really isn't exceptionally deep. Now is another chance for Rossi, scores! Wow! Marco Rossi putting on a show! The hands of a magician. Back the other way comes Rossi, has Drew going to the net. Rossi the shot, scores! He looks off the defender and goes back barring out. What a fantastic shot for Marco Rossi. 
Marco Rossi of the Ottawa 67s led all CHL scorers with 120 points. I can remember two years ago going into the office of head coach Andre Tournier and him warning me about Rossi as being such a good player to look for him in the 2020 draft. Well, you don't have to look far. I think Rossi is a top 10 player for a number of reasons. He plays a complete game, really good defensively, competes like a bugger, has no trouble going into the corners, going to the net front, really effective on the power play. His smarts help him on the penalty kill. So this player can essentially do it all and put up points. I think one thing that's underrated in this game is the fact that he has the ability to win face-offs. If there's a knock, some people say the skating might just be a touch-off. And of course, at 5'9", some wonder if he'll be able to play center in the NHL. There's no question, though, Marco Rossi is also a top 10 pick. Sudbury Wolves and Byfield will finish it off there. Watch him get in the position. He's going to call for this puck. He doesn't get it. He's going to get there in position, stick on the ice. Boom, finishes it off. What a gorgeous goal. Quick shot, scores! It's almost like everything slows down when Quinton Byfield has the puck. Size down the middle of the ice, that is exactly what every NHL team covets as witnessed by the 2020 Stanley Cup playoffs. If you're looking for a player who possesses that, look no further than Quinton Byfield of the Sudbury Wolves. At 6'4", 215 pounds, he's likely to add 20 pounds to that frame and really be a force in the National Hockey League. A center iceman who wins draws, who makes plays, who goes to the dirty areas and not afraid to shoot the puck whatsoever. The one thing about Quentin Byfield, to have that size, to have that strength, to have that speed, yet still have the hands to be able to play that in tight game, that is a massive toolbox and an NHL team is going to be really happy to get him in the first three picks of this draft.